Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. It was well past curfew. My sister sneaked out of the village. I followed her, as I always did. I took my bow. Yaga! I'm coming! Something's ahead. Gross. I always make arrows myself. This time wasn't any different. All I needed was some sticks and feathers. And a bit of work to put them together. Zora is always up to something. Can you see it? The red oak. We've often used it for target practice. Take a good look at it. If anything bad happens, always head straight to the Red Oak. I will meet you there. Uh, Zora? Was it you? Can't stand a second without a leash around your neck. How about you finally go down your own path? I... I, I never wanted to harm anyone. I still don't want to. I always try to do what's right. Trying is all you could ever do. <laughs> you got it all. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Ooh, How much longer you want to be a nobody? You just follow in your sister's footsteps. How far will you go when she's not around? Zora's got a, a plan. She always has one. It's time you had a plan. You want to hide here in the woods? You can't hide from Baba, princess. I just need to find the Red Oak. The Red Oak. <laughs> if anything bad happens... Stop it! Then forget the goddamn Oak! What you really want to find is... The Hut. <gasps> what? Hi. Is it drilling into your little head? The Hut. The Hut! Another bad dream. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Laura went missing. I think I finally know where to look for her. But first I have to get some food to get my... I keep having nightmares since Baba the Witch started snatching kids from the village. Poor girl. Slavitsa. Dragoy.
weavers of life keep on spinning my thread. Little one, it looks like it wants the fruit. That's my good deed for the day. Oh, it's a big one. I hope I can take it down. Without Zora. He's tough. It'll need more than one shot. Your blood won't go to waste. shall flow through my heart forever now, because we are one. Now meat goes over the fire. I'm hungry. Bite from that spider can kill in seconds. I'd better fix myself an antidote, just in case. Just trap birds just for fun. I can try to force them open. People have always accused me of helping Baba, called me a, a freak. When Zora disappeared, too, there was nobody left to keep the angry mob away. So here I am, finding my sister is my only option now. I need to get to the Red Oak. I have to catch the flames to roast the meat. So far, so good. 
looks fine. Looking for a lost sister. Was that a, a lost spirit? Three years ago, the same that haunts my every dream. <sighs> I'll just sneak a peek, look for any sign of Zora. Bow before the master of the house. They're hissing, huh? mask. It's trembling. Again, but this is not a dream. Well, shit, it isn't. Surprised? Don't you remember all the times I saved your ass before? I... What do you... Better get used to it. This time I'm gonna stay for a good while, princess. I'll also help you get out of this mess you're in. Um... The roots have overgrown this place. Ugh. We'll deal with it. Oh, is this... The one who watches over the world. But look what's happened to him. And to the world. Let him feed off of what you've brought. Press the seal. The seal? Your mask. Damn kids always get their crumbs in the yard. <laughs> the 
see the vines? Whoa, not bad. Forest has been crawling with these lately. <sighs> it's that spirit again. There's something about it that reminds me of Ragoy. Oh, my God, the bridge is broken. I can't. So you're gonna stand here forever now? I could try jumping over. No. Figure out something that makes sense. That's what I call a good winter. Mm. Mm. You're... You're the giant mushrooms I heard about in old folk tales. I never thought you'd turn out to be real, though. What are you... Oh! Oh, shoot. A human girl. And she's holding a bow. Should we... Wait. This mask on her face. Don't know why exactly, but it makes her look almost... familiar. Not many of your kind coming here. Have you lost your way, girl? Oh, I like her bow. It's such a nice bow. Uh, can I touch it? Did she come alone? Uh, where's Keep she? Keep it down, kids. Can't you see the grown-ups are talking? I'm... I'm looking for someone. And, well, the trail goes over the broken bridge, so... But see, Borvi? The bridge is broken. It must have been the fire drake that burnt it. You mean a dragon? A vile, bloodthirsty reptile? No way you've got a real one here. Of course we haven't. A dragon just happens to be the best cover-up for whoever's behind that honey hustle. Anyway, they call me Borvi Borko. Slippery Jack at your service. My name's Yaga. What kind of name is that? <laughs> What's that short for? Quit your jabbering. I can't hear what she's saying. Would you... Would you happen to know another way across the river? Oh, there is no other way, I'm afraid. We could rebuild the bridge for you, but... Or rather have a bunch of beavers do it for us. Yeah, we sure could do this. But we need to take care of the fire drake first. <sighs> it seems you've got a really burning issue here with the beast on your shoulders. But I really need to get across the bridge, so maybe we can help each other out? You seem like a crafty lass. Help us get rid of the beast, and we'll get the bridge fixed for you. Well, I'm not exactly a dragon slaying type. Oh, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Go find Rebel, a rather peculiar cursed type. He's a friendly face, even if it's a bit hard to tell. <laughs> He'll tell you what's what. Dragon or not, this thing needs to be taken care of. But you should start by finding my friend, the Noble Grand Knight. And get yourself a good luck charm, such as a horseshoe. <laughs> In any case, you should follow the dragon's roar. The roar? <laughs> Just go to the caves west from here. All right, I'll see what I can do. Off to a great adventure, I am. <laughs> Hang in there, Zora. Wherever you are.
It can save your sorry ass. You gotta learn every way to crawl out of your own. I think I knew this place. I was here, like... Oh, yeah, now. Painful memories? Good. Pain means you're not dead. Yet. What? <laughs> the sinister lights leading you straight to hell. Willow wasps. I like it. It's like my own needs. Taking a nice stroll, aren't we, Mr. Bug? Have you lost your way to the village, serf? Oh, what a gallant steed you are. Bovi Boko sent me to help you with that honey case. Huh! He sent you? <sighs> well then, it seems the time has come to earn your valor, squire. We need to stop that filthy dragon from gorging on our people. We'll serve it some proper justice instead. Squire, huh? <clears throat> How do you propose we proceed, my lord? I have designed a special piece of siege machinery. A work of wonder. We will push it into the dragon's lair, where it shall bestow God's will upon the beast. The problem is we're still missing black powder. I need someone small and sneaky for the job. <sighs> Something tells me this is where I step in. Correct. You'll need to retrieve it from a bloody outlaw's lair. Rebel God's curse his name. Slippery Jack's friend? Why won't you go, sir? Well, uh... <laughs> Good one. Rebel is one of the cursed, of course. And I am a grand. Without further ado... Shall we free the land of the dragon's reign? I think I'm good to go. Uh, I, I mean, I shall not wait any longer to obtain the most wondrous artifact from the Defiler's domain. <sighs> Splendid! Retrieve the powder. When you're done, you'll find me at my... Anything wrong? Can you hear it? The enemy's approaching! Stand and fight for your life, Squire! There are too many of them. Whoa. He does that? I used to hate this thing. Stuck on my hand and... We've almost figured it out. That fancy gauntlet of yours. Learn, act, repeat. One day you'll get the most out of it. 
I, I, I don't think I can repeat. The cauldron has all the answers. I'll try. Now, make it special. Boost your shot with the gauntlet's energy. How the hell? Hmm. We're getting somewhere. Now, what was it the mushroom wanted? A wish upon a shooting star. Mm. Mm. Tremble before our might, puny mortal. Soon the rivers will flow with the blood of all who dare to oppose the eternal empire of ants. I. I beg your mercy, my queen empress. Enough! Show me the way to the human settlement so I can lead my merciless army and pour my wrath upon them. Those rivers of blood don't really sound too good to me. There will be no alliance between us, Aunt Queen. Soon, all will know the true meaning of horror. Miss, uh, moment of your time. Oh, uh, good day to you, Mr... Mr. Lava. Not a very good day to be alive, I gotta say. All underworlds are rage. Beholders protesting, lost souls reading around, and made tunnels blocked by those awful roots. Gotta dig the terrace. It's got me all twisted. Tell me, miss, did I go up or did I go down? You must have gone up to get here, Mr. Lava. Oh, yes, that's so. Thank you, miss. I should get back to work. Demons aren't going to make themselves, are they? statue. We spilled those to ward off the winter. Days of yore. I'm here for uh oh, be damned. Look uh, who's there! It's the little kitty goat sent by the stiff-necked knight to rob me of the explosives! 
I'm not all warmed up after the nap, but it's still gonna be enough for you. <laughs> this is who I am! You won't snake your way out of this one! You really get my go? Mushroom's blood is still warm as the girl in a peculiar mask leaves his lair. Isn't that a lovely scene? Well, I guess I'm not the only peculiar looking person around. Hi, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with. See who you are. See what you did. Look, I can explain. Never do that. Not in front of me. Whispers can be extremely loud if you know where to listen. Don't mind the poor soul here. He will grow back anyway. That is how mushrooms are. Coming here was a dead end, though. You can deliver the package later. But at the end of the day, that's not what gets you past the bridge. I don't quite... Your fellow mushrooms and I made a deal to get rid of the, the dragon. dragon is just an idea, a facade, to the real problems of the forest. Following the trail of honey would be the first step towards dealing with them, without making so much unnecessary noise. Oh, I get it. chat girl I can't wait till you slay that dragon <laughs> all right I'll see what I can do try finding yourself first. The mortal soul makes a shellock. Mm-hmm. And 
Their souls trapped in between, awaiting their chance. We've all been there. Well done, this right place, right time. Keep quiet. came to dinner. Too bad he didn't give us a chance to tidy up the place first. So much dirt everywhere. I guess we need to at least sweep the floors. What is this? Get over here, you little piece of shit. Resistant. <laughs> I'll take care of that. Was it uh, a broom? Broom? <laughs> An ancient artifact of great power. But sure, it makes it easier to take care of the trash. But... but what was it even doing here? This thing's got a mind of its own. It found you. It'll be back if you need it. So... we're bound to stick together through thick and thin. Yes. I'll ride it wildly in the pale moonlight, howling wind, and... Uh... Are you finished? Don't push it, princess. with a bag. huge toad kiss it what why you know frogs and fairy tales mm. <sighs> Three baby teeth and a fat wisp's wing a goat's bile and a raven's quill i have a spider a sherlock or two a serpent's scale Hmm. The dragons will do. 
Did you hear that too? Oh, I was hoping for a prince. Odd. Fancy seeing you again. Miss, I'll be honest with you. If I don't get sticks and stones to break old bones, soon there won't be any room left for new corpses. I already have some stones, but sticks are illegal in the underworld. Do you think you could discreetly help me out with uh, five sticks? Y yeah. It so happens I might just have some top-tier quality sticks for you, from under the table. Thank you so much for your good deed, miss. If you ever end up dead, there will be a cozy place down there for you. You have my word. Oh, spit it out already. But we've never met. Oh, he thinks you're her. She must have been here. Zora, do you know where she... Uh, where I went when we met last time? Some of us die for nothing. Some of us live for nothing. This must be the dragon's den. Time to drop the lure somewhere around. Now, for some hiding spot. Let's see what happens. What? Who's that? Hey, little one. Are you looking for something here? Oh! 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 Um... Me? <laughs> Would I look for honey? I, I, I don't even like honey. I never said you were looking for honey. Oh, uh, neither did I. Listen, kid. Uh, my name's Twig. What are you really doing here, Twig? I'm, uh... I'm... I'm uh, trying to save Blossom, my sister. Ooh, the dragon got her. She's in the cave. Oh, you gotta help me. Dragon, huh? Well, I might as well take a look inside. You sure? That noise. Well, the terrible dragon, of course. Huh? These arrows are dripping with honey. Could they be the fabled sticky arrows? Whoa. 
Too bad there are so few. Go there. She sure did. You have to jump down now. Jump down? There? You've got to be kidding me. Well, don't worry. There's another way out. Blossom, are you there? Take it easy. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. You're not the only one. Twig, I'll get you for this. <laughs> oh, you're not going anywhere. Here, kill yourself. <laughs> Excuse me? No! Go away! Pee-wee <laughs> can't have any more honey, or he'll <clears throat> bite your head off. You'll feed Pee-wee, one way or another.
that. <coughs> Whoa. I can see that upset stomach of yours is killing you, but that's no reason to treat your guests like that. Wait a minute. You're not a real dragon. You're just a... an imp. But bigger and with... Well, you sure don't look like a regular imp to me. An imp? Maybe a long, long time ago. Peewee, right? What happened to you? Peewee! Oh, oh. oh, and his brother Leewee were looking for food. <laughs> for their tribe. Oh, went deeper than ever before. And got oh, taken by the roots. <gasps> Oh, the roots gave strange thoughts. <laughs> gave them hunger. <laughs> Made them see terrible things. <laughs> Made them see her. Huh. Shut your goddamn gob, Peewee. Or I'll stuff it with more honey. Um... Is your brother somewhere around? <gasps> Leewee? No. He got out. <laughs> Escaped the roots. Oh, went home, no doubt. <laughs> the sacred grove. <laughs> then the children came. You mean the little mushrooms? <laughs> They said they'd give Pee-wee a share of honey if he helps them get more of it. <laughs> oh, if he makes <laughs> dragon noises. Mm. Liquid gold rules the world. Oh, Pee-wee, so full. <laughs> Can't have any more, but... Oh, Please, <laughs> one more final sip before. <laughs> if that's what's best for you, here. Oh, yes, so sweet. So, oh, take a oh, 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 step back. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. You heard what he said. The roots did this to him. Some air. And the dragon. I guess it's no more.
Oh, not you again. What the? Listen, the cat says that the stone says that one of the stonelings fell into the river. It'll turn into a useless goldfish if it stays in the water for too long. We can't let that happen. You'll need to fish it out, and for that, you'll need a rod with a golden line. They say one of the red roses hid the line years ago, and no one has ever seen it since. Are you serious? Do any of us look like we're joking? But... Find the red rose. That's what the stone said, and that's what we're gonna do. See the rose? Keep the bow hidden. They're easy to scare. Gotta see what it's looking at. The sparks blow them away. Leave this one alone. Keep the bow hidden. Good. They say the evil roses steal Miser's eyes, forcing them to look at their riches from afar forever. But no punishment should last that long. The cat says, the stone says, that's the one. We don't have much time. Put it on a stick, and we're good to go. The cat says... The cat says that the stone said... What is it that you don't understand in this sentence? Down the river. Swims, she's a witch. If she drowns, she wasn't. So, did you drown? I did it, but it's a carp, not a goldfish or a stone ring. Well, no wonder the stone got that wrong. He doesn't even have real eyes or ears. What? Wait a minute. <clears throat> you might as well eat the fish. It's not like it's going to grant you three wishes or any wishes. Let's get out of here.
fancy a chat, girl? <laughs> there you are. We heard a loud explosion. <laughs> Did you... Um... Victory! The dragon's dead. See, Borby? I told you there was a dragon. But you just never listen, never believe. Oh, give me a break. The girl's full of it. I can smell a lie from a mile away. But with the roaring gone, I guess the trouble's over too, so... I don't care for the details. <sighs> Anyway, we fixed the bridge just as promised. And here's something more for the effort. Yes, some very special sticky arrows. I think you'll figure out how to craft more of them easily. Plans for sticky arrows. I've heard of mighty hunters who made them. That knowledge was long forgotten. Slowing the enemies down will surely give me an upper hand. Unless it's the witch who... The witch? What are you talking about? The witch is long gone. Um, you know, Baba the witch? You must have heard of her. People talk about her all the time. Ah, we know what you speak of, girl, but Baba, as you put it, is no witch. It's something far darker. Baba. Baba. Ooh, that's a hell of a name, though. Anyway, good luck and take care. Oh, and see you around. I have a feeling we'll meet again soon enough. <laughs> They actually did fix the bridge. Hmm. Took them a while. There it is. Is it true what folks say? That spirits can carry lost memories. Dragoi, I'm coming for you. There's something in there. It looks a bit like him. <laughs> What's this? 
base. Who's... This is getting me closer to Sora. did turn out to be a jerk, but even he deserves better. Oh, does he? Is your memory playing tricks on you, princess? See? Now hunt him down to get the memory. I'd have to make him stand still for a while, but... See the little guys on the trees?
those two things. Straight in the eye now. becomes equal with the night, the people from the village would prepare to send the old, bad winter into the great beyond. Meaning, they would try to kill winter. Good luck with that. That year was much different. There would be no joyful celebrations, as a series of unfortunate events has cast its shadow upon the village. For the young, however, the old tradition was more than a practice of faith. Some teenagers decided to break the ban, each for a reason of their own. Drago seemed oddly reluctant to go deeper into the woods that day. Yet Zora, the bolder one of the twin sisters, wasn't going to give up on the plan she had. I'm going anyway. You two can take care of the statue here. Drago and Yaga had been friends for years. But there was clearly something more subtle between them as well. Uh. Why fall in love when you can fall asleep? Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Drago and Yaga, yes. There they are. My folks said we shouldn't build the effigies anymore. Now that Baba's back, said Drago. <laughs> but I made up this story that this time we're making it to ward off Baba. Not the winter. <laughs> and, and guess what? They didn't mind anymore. You need to be careful, Yaga. Now people talk trash. And you probably don't realize what kind of crazy ideas they can come up with when they fear for their children's lives. Yaga wasn't really listening. All she could think of was a tiny gift she brought for Dragoi. Her heart pounded when she reached for it. The boy glanced at Yaga's mask. Take it off. Just for once. No! She answered and flinched, but he wouldn't quit insisting. Dragway, no! Oh, will you stop playing the goddamn prude? You're a lunatic, just as they say you are. He cried out violently. She couldn't believe her ears. She used to call Dragoi a friend. Oh, whatever. Let's go. We have to find Zora. But I think I know where she's at. Granted Dragoi as he stood up. A wounded pride tempted him to do something he would regret until the very end. As they walked through the... Oh, mysterious this and that. Oh, here's a good part. After leading the way for a good while, the boy stopped in the middle of a clearing. Go! A pack of men from the village jumped out of the bushes and took the dazed girl by surprise. You've made up your mind after all. That's a good boy, said one of the men. <sighs> Treachery plagues the lesser minds, doesn't it, Dragoi? Light the fire and bring in the gold! Time to cleanse this waif of the witch's touch. As Yaga looked at the scapegoat brought by the villagers, a familiar voice grew in volume in the back of her head. You've let them treat you like trash all these years. And now you're even gonna let them cut you open? Let them burn you alive? Let me answer this for you, princess. The hell out of my way. This 
scapegoat. You always saw me as the perfect scapegoat. A monster. You always saw a monster in me. Now I can give you all you've ever wanted. Just get out of my way. old on me, so you kept coining new ones. The witch's eye in the village. <laughs> you leave me. No choice. I'll go right through you. I'm breaking your bones. I'm crushing your skulls. You can never screw that for again. I said, get out of my fucking day! I am fire. The one you've been trying to ignite all these years. And all I needed was a single spark. You want to hide? Here in the woods, you can't hide from fire. Come bask in the light, inhale the heat. Isn't it what you wanted? And if you get burnt, the flames swallow you whole. If you suffer a painful death, that's the price I'm willing to pay. I'm willing to pay. Your 
Tucker, can you hear me? He's all right now. Zora, is it you? Yes, silly duck, it's me. See, we're just a few steps from the Red Oak. You're safe here. They went the other way. And they won't try anything again. Not when I'm around. They think I... That Volko and Slavitsa... We'll know what happened to them soon enough. I think I know where to look. Where's... Where's Dragoy? That old weasel. Must be on his way back home already. Dragoy. We haven't seen him since that day. Hello? Who's the... Is it... Is it you? No. No, it can't. No, no. Stop! No! What? Where? Oh, no. Please, not my mask. The Red Oak. I'm almost there. That's the place, all right. The Red Oak. Our hiding place. No sign of Zora, though. All I see is the void inside. Could say the same about you. He won't judge you, but he will feed on your past and the souls you've brought. Be brave, princess. Another mask. It looks a bit like the old one. Can I have it? It's still not enough. You gotta take it back home. Home? No, oh, your sister. She said she knew how to find the missing kids, right? So she went looking for them? Of course. A way to find my sister leads through the... through the rest of my lost friends. I need to find out what happened to them. As if you didn't know already. <laughs> anyway... You're taking a trip down the memory lane, princess. You will see. You will remember. The seal. Take it to the hut. While you still can. Can you hear it? It's like the legends are knocking on our doors. See this old statue? Uh-huh. An idol of some ancient god. Pay your respects and shoot it. <laughs> Old gods are dead. You are alive. I think I'm getting used to it. Oh, can you speak louder? He's waiting for you. I know.
Very nice. Just make sure to dust it off once in a while, will you? You know what to do. I said I knew. Sheesh, what's gotten into you, princess? Nothing, it's just... Look, I wonder who... who I am. Seriously. Is it true what people say? That I'm the witch's eye in the village? Witch's eye? <laughs> princess, please. Witches or barbers, it doesn't really matter. So, are you... Baba? <laughs> You're gonna give me wrinkles. You actually can be funny sometimes. But Dragoy's death. Wasn't it you? Wasn't it me? <sighs> Think what you want. Now, press the seal. I'm not here to do what you tell me. I have to go after my friends. I need to find Zora. Taking over the hut means ridding the land of the roots. And that means you're gonna reach all the memories you need. So yeah, you are here to do what I tell you. Fine. Another path has opened here. Ever asked. Why are you blocking this sun? Wait a minute. The cat speaks? Oh, come on! You gotta listen to it. Take, for example, the biggest mystery of the universe. The meaning of life. It's all there. Don't you want to hear it? Either you move, or the sun will. I have all the time. Hey there, furry friend. I don't remember you being all that chatty before. Um, I'm pretty sure I heard the two of you having... Um, well, see you later then. He's either messing with me or I'm losing it. Or both. <laughs> It's been a while since I've last been here. Two years ago. During Midsummer Night. Ah, oh, new land. New possibilities. 
New chunk in the snatch. Jeez, girl, I'm kidding. Shithead quick. He sure is. Well, get a broom. Then he won't be. says that the stone says that yes i think i get it by now you can just tell me what the stone says perhaps he'd like to get a little more talkative about what he's doing here he's blocking the way again yeah and he won't budge i can see that but why he moves for no man that's why All right just tell me what i've got to do this time around Sounds like he could use a hand on the upside-down bridge. You mean... that bridge? He wants me to climb it? Mm-hmm. You'll know more when you get there. And otherwise, he won't let us through? You can't move mountains if you can't move yourself. Oh, the stone said that. <sighs> obviously. I mean, the cat said, obviously. I guess I'll go now. Upside down bridge has always given me the chills. And now the stone wants me to climb it.
No point. Try something else. Harun, Lord of Thunder, may your light show me the way. Keep me free as the birds on your sky. What is down there? May your hand be just, but your shears patient. my game to play. For Baruta is my name. No time for that yet. Still not safe. With her own soul. Why'd she fear the one who offers only that which helps us all? I know this old devil. Watch out for his words. What does he want? Business. But you can refuse. Heed me. Heed. For I will say it once. <laughs> Maybe twice if you insist. Clever bird who hunts with wits. Hardly ever shuns my gifts. What say you? I'd rather not. So be it. <laughs>
this one. Oh. A stiff bug spine. All honey from bees. From what I have sowed, I'll reap what I need. <sighs> nope. Not this one either. now? So I can go back and just follow the trail up the hill? Nope. He'll be there. Huh? How? Oh, is he so fast, or...? That's stone-cold logic, princess. It might be too much for you. Now, listen. The stone says... How do you know what he's saying without the cat? I got the hang of it. Learned as we go. Anyway, he says... Hard times are upon the stones. Hard? Even for the stones? The world moves too fast. Crumbles, erodes, some things slither in through the cracks. And the stonelings are still soft here and there. They need to harden on all sides. That's why they came to the Upside Down Bridge. And now... They're stuck. Sounds serious. What do you mean, they're stuck? The stones only move when there's no one looking at them. So... So, when there's no one not to look at them, they can't move. We have to find them on the bridge and not look at them so they can move. Seriously? Stone-cold logic, princess. Hurry up. The stonelings will turn into useless shooting stars if they stay on the bridge for too long. We can't let that happen. Deja vu. Just look away, remember? Sure. I'm not seeing you, Stonelings. Just admiring the view. Looking up. I mean, down. It moved. It works. Another one. Here you go. Just let me...
Sternlings move now. I mean, it seems like they do. They, um, appear in different places when you don't look. So, I guess that's what we wanted? I appreciate that. Um, that's it? It's a stone, princess. They ain't really all that emotional. He looks grateful, but his stone-cold heart won't let him show it. Let's move. <sighs> Wait, this spirit reminds me of Slovitsa. Does it mean she's gone too? There it is. It really was Slovitsa. Ready? Baba. Again. What did she do to the poor girl? Tickle your fancy, princess. I guess we don't have a choice. We. You don't. Follow her. Weavers of life keep on spinning my thread. Slavitsa. They never got along. <gasps> the Bobox. Remember? Eyes out. 
beginning of the summer, during the shortest night of the year, the youth partakes in traditional celebrations of Midsummer Night. Before the curfew had been set up, the young would roam the forest freely. As the flower crowns drifted away, so seemed the innocence of their childhood. But let's start from the beginning. An eternal battle between Perun and Veles, the God Brothers, has resulted in the creation of... Wade. Brothers. Wasn't it a tale about... Sisters? Hmm, let me just... Oh yes, that's more like it. Back to the sisters, or at least one of them. <clears throat> Yaga and Slavica never got along. Things have only gotten worse since Volko went missing a year earlier. Do you think Baba's really back? And that she snatched Volko? But you are not scared of Baba. Almost like you knew nothing here could harm you. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> sure you don't. When the flower crowns were ready, each girl set hers on the water. Yaga was not in it for tradition's sake. She had something to prove. However, as her crown was slowly getting closer to the boys, an alarming realization came. If he picks it up, he'll approach her. Is it yours, Yaga? Her fears came true. It actually was Dragoi. Amid an awkward silence, Yaga struggled to avoid what she secretly sought. It's my sister's. She spat out finally. Another thing on her failure resume. Zora's? Are you sure? And, as always, Zora came to the rescue. Of course it's mine. We are now bound by it. So tonight, we're looking for the femme flower together. Are you coming, Yaga? Wait. Are all... All, all three of us going? Oh, would you rather go alone and let Bubba chew the flesh off your bones? <laughs> they walked and walked and... I always keep walking, but you already know that. Soon enough, Yaga left Zora and Dragoi behind. She decided to wait for them to catch up, but someone else did instead. You can probably guess who, can you? Well, well, a little ugly bird lost its way in the forest. Or perhaps you've got your nest nearby. The name Gordana, does it ring any bells? <laughs> you don't think I believe you and Zora are orphans of some deceased relative? Or that it's a coincidence that my... That Volko went missing right after you two had a fight? He could have lost his way. Or had an accident. Or maybe Baba. <laughs> Baba. <laughs> Yaga, please. I'm too old for fairy tales. What did you do to him? Stay down until you're ready to talk. Now, Yaga, this is your moment. My, my. Look who hits the rock bottom. Again and again and again and again. What do you want me to... It's time for you to hatch. Or rot here. Forever. Sometimes, when I'm all alone, I lock myself in a thick shell. It's so hard for me to breathe. So hard to make a sound. 
I open my mouth and stare at myself. All I see is an empty shell. Where are you? Where's my... My voice? Hiding from my eyes, like I've been hiding from theirs, from their words, their sticks and stones. Why do they hate me so much? Is it because I'm a foundling picked up in the woods? Is it my birthmark? When Baba snatched the kid. I was the one to blame. Why? Why can't I scream? you. My voice. I want to hear your confession, shithead! Wherever I look, there's always me. Me. Hiding behind my mask. Me. Hiding behind my sister's back. Me. 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 I'm falling. I tried. I tried so hard to find you. But trying is all I could ever do. Yet sometimes, the step you fear the most is the one that will set you free. louder than before, and my tears are heavier than ever. I see them, trying to catch every teardrop in fear. They don't laugh anymore. dying there, in my heavy tears. They say how wrong they were. Nobody scolds me, but all the stones are gone. I'm the center of the world.
see huts, barns, and little gardens. For the first time, my heart stops, and I can almost feel the return of a world that was woefully lost. I can finally hear the wind sing for me. fall for you every day. I'll rot in hell for me. I'm already there. Are you there? Can I fly now? Open your mouth and teach me to endure pain, death, and loneliness. If I have to go down, look for treasure at the bottom. I am done. In a dream such as this, I can be anyone that I want. It means I can also be myself. It feels fine. <sighs> Yoga, what? How'd you get out of this pit? You want to mess with a murderer? Look, I didn't really call you. Slivitsa, I wish I never had to see you again. Yaga, are you there? Damn it. I'll deal with you later. It was the last time anyone saw Slivitsa. What? Who's... Oh no! 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 Are they all dead? All dead because? Why does Baba always pick those who crossed me? Can you see him? Again. You're not Baba, are you? I feel you're not. It's good to feel anything. You're... You're in my mask. Or... You are the mask. I am with you as you are with me.
Whoever you are, whatever you did, what, whatever I did, it can't stop me from finding my sister. Still can't get by without her. Now, this time it's me who's helping Zora, not the other way around. I'll walk the path paved with bones if I need to. Wow. It's almost like... Like... Huh. Get back to the hut. Looking for someone. How did you get found? How did you get Hold on. I know what to do. Take the hut, get the roots. Oh, God, God. You can spare me the- No! <gasps> Something's wrong. Sheesh. What's gotten into you, princess? You out of your mind? Whatever. What she's looking for. <laughs> oh God! Blood, my blood, spilled. Yet it keeps on flowing. 
hurts like hell. But she seemed appeased. That's what counts. Wait, here goes another one. White as jeweled, but not as brittle. Tales stronger than dead. In it can be written. Hmm. White as chalk, but not as brittle. Tales stronger than dead, in it can be written. the one she needs. My fight has chalk, but not as brittle. Tales stronger than dead, in it can be written. I hope this one works better. Fingers crossed. My bones crushed. Yet their stories still ring true. Thorns bind my nature. Good. Keep doing that. Even when of stone, only heavy at times, it can leap. Even as it bleeds. Two. Hot. I'll try this one. My heart gone. Yet it yearns for. Wow, that actually worked. Was I underestimating you, Princess? Well, sometimes you could... I wasn't really asking for your opinion. See that chest? I did lost about you. I know. Um, I was talking about... Let's... could be of any... Do we wear a mask? Or does the mask wear us? Uh, what do you... What lies behind it? Silver dawn. Golden dusk. I may have stumbled on my way once or twice, but I I always do what's right. It's not. Who are you? Okay, I've had enough. You can go snatch boiled brats or yap around this place. Whatever. We are leaving, and you are not stopping us. Bone of my bone. We tried. Didn't work. Gotta run. Um, I said run. Crystal arrow, quick! More crystals! The idol! 
On the other side! That was close. How did we get there anyway? <sighs> the hut is fighting back. Don't sweat it. I won't let it happen anymore. Baba, she seems to be looking for some kids. And not just any kids. Her baby girls? You're thinking what I'm thinking? I do. And can't say I like this one bit. Anyway, you can't keep on getting us in trouble like that every time you try to speak up. Me? You couldn't spit out a word. <sighs> right. Every time you try to speak up. Ugh. So much running around after the cat, just to get home. How about simply ask him for directions? Mm -hmm. I'm dying to see it. <clears throat> Greetings, my dear hairball puking furry teleporter kitty cat. Sure, cataportation works just fine, but this time we've got something to prove here. Now. You will tell us the way to the Trail of Crumbs. Please. Mm-hmm. Right. He's sure going to answer. Well... Just continue down the path. Has the old... I knew it! I knew... <coughs> I knew he could speak. <clears throat> Do you mind? Has the old burial ground. Then, look for the trail among the trees. You might be able to find it there, but then again, you might not. It can go either way, obviously. Personally, I'd have a bowl of milk instead. That's helpful. <clears throat> Piece of cake. What the... That's... That doesn't count! You and the cat must... I mean... This would go totally different if it was anyone else. Maybe. Maybe not. Besides... Princess... What have I got you for? <laughs> uh, but I told you he could speak. Meow. <sighs> Maybe it's better not to give it much thought. here Thank <laughs> you. 
You could always shoot the hive down. Ready.
see that? Mm-hmm. Might as well throw stones at her. This needs a little focus. Beat it! But I'm no place for little girls like you. Uh-oh. Dead girl got angry. Be just, but your she is patient. You mess with the wrong mushrooms. Sparks blow them away. There goes the trial. Leading us to... Your sister? Oh, did I mention looking for her does you good? Oh, it's... It's Volko. What's the matter? Going through a rough patch, two of you? Oh, oh get off me. Surprise here, really. He had it coming for she's here for me.
an unwanted mess. Fuck! My mask! I've got to get it back. in the game. You know the drill.
As autumn nights lengthen, the forefathers' eve preparations begin. Great feasts for the late ancestors are held to buy their favor or consult their wisdom. But conjuring the dead is never a walk in the park, nor in the woods for that matter. Some spirits may just overstay our welcome. The young would build fires at the crossroads, so the lost souls may know the way towards households eager to host them. Be careful. Baba will return if you misbehave. <laughs> the oldest in the group, Volko, dared to jest. Oh, give us a break, Volko. No one has seen the witch in years. Interrupted Zora. Who asked you, ship brain? <laughs> a funny choice of words for someone whose job is scraping shit from the cesspits. A funny choice of words for a waif, ditched by her own mother. <laughs> she must have kicked you out as soon as she saw uh, that vile mark on your mute sister's dumb face. Oh, stop picking on her, Volko. Said Dragoi, trying to stand up for Yaga. That's what friends are for. Right, Dragoi? What did you just say, schoolboy? And just as the talk was about to reach its boiling point, it ceased uh, abruptly. Just let me... Uh, no, not the red riding, not the beauty, not the beast either. Uh, oh yes, that's... Why it ceased. Curiosity's prowess in killing cats is highly overestimated, but it did kill its share of nosy children. Luckily, this time it only let some inside the hut. Relax. The witch is gone for good. My old man knows what he's saying. <laughs> As the rest were snooping around, Yaga felt an unstoppable urge to examine the strange roots. <gasps> the ground trembled beneath as a drop of her blood dripped down the thorns. Ooh, it sure is Forefather's Eve, isn't it, girls? Who? maybe we'll summon your real mom's spirit. Maybe she'll tell us who she slept with. <laughs> if she even knows. As the earth shook once more, Anger boiled within Yaga. May the spirits shatter the veils of secrets tonight. Let us know a thing or two about these two ugly bastards. The rage blooming within Yaga soon bore fruit to her inner strength to stand up to the oppressor. As the girl raised her clenched fist, everyone's eyes went on her skin. Can you see it? Let me just... Oh, crap. There. Now you see. What have you got there, weirdo? Meanwhile, the hut has awoken to its fullest. All that was left was to flee. She ran and ran. So I'll skip that. Oh, that's surprising. Not so fast, freak. <laughs> A little souvenir from the witch? As if you weren't cursed enough before. Now, you know what I'm going to do with you, don't you? As Yaga's story was about to come to a grim end, she heard a voice that would shadow her restlessly from then on. Isn't this the beginning of a beautiful friendship, princess? Look at you. A prey. A victim. An excuse. You've been all that. You've been my loudest scream. And my quietest whisper. Each of my sleepless nights and brightest daydreams. My most painful moments. 
torments and fears. How many tears? How many tears you spill? Trying to escape the darkness. Your darkness. You are not ready. It's hard to see a way out of your own shadow. Angle of your darkest secrets. Wherever you went, it followed. Slithered like a snake. This black tail of yours. It still does. It's hard to see a way out of your own shadow. Always behind you. Mocking you, wriggling around, striking blindly, hitting both the guilty and the innocent. Your shadow. Your past, and your pedigree, your destiny, to be more, to feel more. This black tail of yours, control it, or it will snap your little neck, and crush you, and crush me. Bend the road. Make a turn. <sighs> it's hard to see a way out. Because you are not ready. You will be. I'm not... I'm not ready. It's okay, Yaga. It's okay now. Something has... I'm cold. Don't leave me. I won't. <laughs> don't leave me, Zora. Please don't leave me. I will never leave you. Bulko, I haven't missed him for a second. As a matter of fact, I was pretty far from missing him. Is this... <laughs> what are you? <laughs> You're not... You... You can't touch me! Freak! No! Get the... It's all for nothing. They're all gone. Zora, she must be... Please, no. me. It's 
always been me. I am the witch's eye. Don't beat yourself up about it. It's not gonna help. You... I figured you out. You have? You're here to cover my real face. Oh, princess. My ugly, vile face. You're a mask to hide the face of a murderer. Help me avoid justice. Justice? No. But the truth is not far away. You're just still not ready to... Say it. Look, I... Say it! I... I can't. I don't want to. Not yet. You and your secret. I'm not wasting any more time on them. I must keep going. I'll find her. One way or another. No new tricks, no powers from ancient gods. This time, I'm almost disappointed. Getting greedy, huh? There is something. You'll see when the time is right.
Ah, home sweet home. Just don't make yourself too comfortable. Of course, we've got a job to do. The roots have overgrown this place. Here comes another tantrum. What do you really want from me? I bet you could get the hut some other way. The hut, the masks, the idols. They're means to a greater end. But you, you gotta walk the road. Unless, unless I smash the moss into pieces. Ooh, shots fired. I thought you can't live without it. Can't you feel it, princess? Something's changed. I don't want to harm you. Mm -hmm. Right. You can't wait to do it. Oh, you're not ready. Yeah. I just hope this junk works properly this time. Days when the roots were sweeping the land will soon be over. There's still one thing to deal with, though. Hello there, old friend. Where are you walking to? All alone? Um, following the trail? Wait, did you just... I'm going to see my grandmother and... Carry her a cake, and... Does she leave? Far off. I'm glad you two are having fun, but... It's beyond that mill you see there, in the first half. But, there are more important matters to attend to. Um... Sorry. Did someone say something? Huh. I guess. Should we...? Most likely, yeah. It's time. <laughs> Don't tell me you're finally going to talk to me now. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. That depends on you mostly. <sighs> the time of the year is on your side, though. Is the winter solstice, so according to an age-old custom, animals are kind of obliged to speak to humans. Look, I can feel I'm this close to finding out what happened to my sister, and... But first... You needed to unravel the past of your missing friends, right? Well, it seems that way. It's not enough. You become responsible for every little soul you collect on your way. And you owe them a closure. Talk about leaving your past behind. The only way towards the truth leads through the prison of souls. The place of... Judgment. Don't worry, I will keep an eye on you. For a while. The rest of the road, you'll have to walk alone. And face whatever is there. There was a time when my knees would buckle after hearing such a thing. Since we've got a moment all for ourselves, let me enlighten you with some answers. But 
Not the people. They hardly ever change. They thought Gordana was the evil from the woods, just like those who came before her. Baba. For them, it was always Baba's fault. Baba Gordana has a certain ring to it, doesn't it? Just like the witch's eye in the village. Nothing. Piece of cake. <laughs> How come I've never seen these ruins around here? The trail goes straight in. So do you. Oh, you're here already. I'm here already. Come closer. I've got a real treat for you. See the gate? Everything you've been looking for lies behind. The key to your future is in your past, but one needs to be closed for others to open. The souls. Chasing ghosts is pretty much all I do. Chasing and catching. But now, look each of them in the eyes and decide. The choices you make will give you the keys to your destiny. Uh, where was I? Ah, ah yes. You see, Gordana was the last of her lineage. An age-old bloodline of the wise women. The only ones capable of taming the chaos of the heart. And it's voracious. Few people ever knew how much they owe the guardians. Now talk about the thankless job. But mostly, she would keep to herself. Mostly. She was only human after all. It so happened she gave birth to two daughters, twins. It does ring a bell, doesn't it? Why did I have a feeling it would all end like this? She has never loved anyone more than that. have <sighs> always pinned down their ill fate the witch, so they chose to get rid of her. They killed her.
Fortune gives she learned. The torment of leaving her children all alone in the woods would be eased only by the hope of keeping them safe from the peasants' wrath. While the distance between them steadily grew, the time she had left was running out ruthlessly. So it goes. Your heritage has burdened you, even as you were oblivious to it. And it always will. He's trapped. Convenient. Foundling! Get her! A little wench! for too long, Falco. I always did what my old man told me to. A witch deserves nothing more than a good stake in fire, he said. And he, well, he knew a thing or two about witches. Oh. I just hope I won't regret this. Feel free. Get out of my sight. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Yaga. So sorry.
The sparks blow them away.
She's here. And she won't run. Is that you? Little ugly bird. Not so little anymore, Slifitza. I didn't mean to. We could have been. But... I know. Your crush wasn't the best influence, was he? You can still find peace together. You're free. Thank you. Birds of a feather. And where's Zora? She had realized following the spirits would lead her towards the truth. And so she set off into the wild. What for, you may ask? To clear you of the accusations, of course. Out of love. She tried to help you live among the people. But they were never your people, were they? They will never be. However, you are no ugly duckling anymore. Your inner strength finally shines through. Zora has always known you've had it buried deep within. That's why she never gave up on you. Her absence only made you grow. One way or another, she succeeded. But where is she? Well... Your sister's fate is not for me to tell you, but for you to learn on your own.
that works on these. from that hole. Oh, there will be a lot more. You can count on that. What about your fate? Whether you have walked down the path of light, or a path of darkness matters not. Only that it was yours. For being good or evil truly means not in the face of being one with oneself. Despite all that, there is still a part of you you haven't absorbed yet. You've been denying it for so many years, covering it with a false face, with your mask. But you can't keep it confined forever. It is there, awakened, howling, rattling its cage. Something wrong. Terrifying. See how I ask it? You're welcome. Drag away. Drag away. Don't. 
Please. God damn prude. It's me, Dragoy. It's, it's... It's so dark in here. It's so cold. I... I... I know I deserve... No better. I... I did wrong. Yaga. So wrong. Mm -hmm. You sure, Webby? Act now, think later, tight. <laughs> that... That gingerbread heart you gave me... That... I never got to tell you... I've... <laughs> One mistake should not define us. See you in another life, friend. In a thousand years... And so it goes. I'll wait for you by the gate. did what had to be done. Oh, more than you know. And what's more important, you have faced yourself too. But you will have to do it again and again. The next time is waiting just around the corner. You may want to make some preparations beforehand. Because once you're inside, there will be no coming back. And nothing will remain the same. You will survive only if you accept the other side, whatever it may be. As for me, this is the farthest I can go. The rest of the story is yours and yours alone. I'll see you in another fairy tale. Goodbye, friend.
Brutes didn't go easy on these. Not safe yet. No time for that yet. Still not safe. No time for that yet. Still not safe. Not now. Too dangerous around. Levers of life keep on spinning my thread. Everything down. I'll salvage what I can. Me, me. Oh, thank you for your mercy. Can't you see? I've been showing you grace all this time. 
I could have gotten rid of you a long time ago. I could have thrown you away. Throw me away? Yes. Throw away the mask. Isn't that what you are? Just a mask to cover up my sins? But I don't give a shit about what people think anymore. Or, or what they'll do to me. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Guess what? The real me doesn't need a mask to hide behind anymore. You got it all wrong, princess. The truth. And stop calling me that! I don't need you, don't you get it? I don't! Just shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> She's been gone for quite a while now. Feels weird. You got it all wrong, princess. The truth... What were you trying to say there, huh?
Hey, are you there? Look, you don't have to sulk about that ever. Sure, we don't, princess. Just move your ass like I told you to. Yuck. Zora? I'm coming. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters. Sora, was it your? Oh no! I knew it. I, I failed. I, I, I didn't. I, You even left the village. But how? Did, did Baba... No. Just a spell of bad luck. A misadventure. A tragic reality of life. Why are you still here then? Baba may have had no hand in my demise, but she still craves my soul. She will torment me forever. She torments the soul of our mother. You need to stop her before she devours you as well. You can still save us.
Can't touch me. Are you still there? Are you? That was quite an adventure. You did good. Things I said... Without you, I'd never make it. Without you... You did good, Princess. I finally know who you are. And... What I am... For so long, I... I thought you were my mask. Yeah. You've come a long way. We have. Funny I never asked your name. Funny I never asked yours. It's time. You made up your mind. I did. The mask. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be alright. You'll be all right. I will carry you. So... It's a goodbye.
Maybe. See you around, princess. There are no villains. And there are no heroes either. The ways we walk are lit by glimmers of our dreams. Living the fairy tale we all become the same blurry past. Destination becomes irrelevant. We make the road. Road makes us not heroes, not villains. Just us.